Well, Mark, tough one to take out the FA Trophy today. How do you reflect on the performance? Yeah, real frustrating afternoon for us. Um, there wasn't a lot in the game, apart from they showed the quality when it was needed and we didn't. And um, um, like I said, we've created a couple of good chances. Um, their keeper made a great save in the first half. Panny got a, a clear sight, one-on-one, -on -one, and unfortunately slipped. But other than that, we huffed and puffed and, and caused our own, own frustrations for our lack of quality. And that, that was a frustrating moment. Uh, moments of the game. Um, I think out of possession, we're still pretty solid. We got done on the counter attack. We, we, you know, we've left ourselves a little bit open in chasing the game, like rightly so. We we're in a cup game, we're desperate to win. Um, we didn't quite lock out properly. Um, a great counter attack from them, and they showed their quality. Look, they, they showed two moments of quality and, and, and won the game. We didn't show the moments of quality, um, and like I said that aided to the frustration of the afternoon because. Um, we had a lot of the ball, we had spells of the ball and it was like misplaced pass, wrong weight, uh, just our decision making was a little bit off and um, you could feel it slipping through our fingers a little bit and um, that, that, that ultimately gave that, that feeling of, of disappointment. Obviously the one change made, Harry comes straight back in to the side and like you said he had his moment and just couldn't take it today. Yeah, unfortunately slipped. Again, we worked it really well there and we've got him in the centre of the goal one on one and unfortunately just slipped. Um, and, and took the power out of the shot, um, but really, really pleased to, to have him with us. Really pleased to get him 65 minutes he done today. He was he was always down for doing like an hour. Um, you know, he's probably a little bit short on match fitness, but I, I didn't think it showed out there. And, and again, we had to, you know, that was pre-planned that that substitution, and we we needed to be careful um, with him because we've only just got him. We don't want to lose him straight away. And um, yeah, look, look it's, it's, it's nice to have him after. Having, having it delayed a little bit as well, and it's um, a welcome signing for us. And of course, on the plus side, Cody Lyons Foster back on the bench today. Yeah, yeah, and again, the game probably didn't present itself for a defensive change for us, where unfortunately we went 1 0 down, we had to chase the game, sort of naturally more attacking subs, but you had to have him back on the bench again, another vital player um, who's trained this week and, and, and was back available today. And again, one we need to be careful with um, on building up his minutes, but one we're delighted to have back. Let's go through the game. First half, nil-nil going into the break. Fairly even affair and maybe the second half didn't quite work out how we're looking it to do in the second half. Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. It wasn't, I, don't, you know, I don't think Mitch had a save. That wasn't, um, you know, we weren't dominating the game by any stretch of imagination, but we were, we were tight, we were, we were strong against a very good Bromley outfit. Um, but it was probably our in-possession game that frustrated us today. Just, just our lack of quality, misplaced passes and... Um, yeah, our probably uh, lack of, lack of clarity sometimes, and just, which which just clouded our decision making. But look, we got we worked some, the ball in well. We we create some good moments, and ultimately that adds to the frustration when that final slip or that final pass don't quite happen. And uh, we've got to be careful, um, you know, not to be too disappointed and too down, because we are we are tough on ourselves. And after a game, it's always a little bit more raw and emotion. But if, you, if I take the emotion out of it. You know, out of possession, we we weren't too bad, but in possession, we 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 got to we got to be better. Of course, obviously we're out of the trophy now, but it gives us the chance to focus on the league and hopefully push back up the table. Yeah, that's our sole focus now, and I'm gutted to say that. Um, you know, was, you know, four games away from Wembley, it's a massive opportunity for us, and we fluffed our lines today. So bitterly, bitterly disappointed, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll let that soak in, and then um, you know we'll, we'll analyse it tomorrow, and then um, we'll be planning training and. and doing everything we can for a quick reaction and to come back as strong as we can. Of course, we touched on the league, Chesterfield away next weekend, a tough game for us to go away to. A great game, you know, a great game for us to really um, try and show a good reaction. I mean, you know, if we can get something up there, then that would be a, you know, a great, a great reward. But we're going to have to work really hard in, in training this week. We're going to have to really focus, um, sharpen up on a few areas, but continue to grow on the positives as well. Um, you know, like I said, it's important that I don't, we don't throw the throw the baby out of the bath, so to speak, because we've, we've got to um, still continue to grow. You know, every, every, every week will improve week on, week out. And it, it didn't show out there today, but sometimes in your hardships you grow as well. And we learned a lot of lessons out there as well. So we've got to be making sure that we're humble. Um, we're not used to losing lately. So I want it to hurt. It, it, it hurts. It cuts deeper than anyone will imagine. But we also got to have a, a bit of clarity now, a little bit of conviction. Um, in how we approach training this week. And, and I'm looking for that conviction out on the pitch, and I think that's what we lack today. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.